Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Creating drop-down menus in Figma, similar to how you might use variables in other design tools, can be a useful way to manage and apply consistent design elements across your project. And this video is a step-by-step -step guide on how to do it right, use new variable features. Let's start. First step is create local variables. We go into the Figma and on the right side we select local variables and create new variable. Uh, we get a choice of color, number, string and boolean. Now we choose string. We have a window opening up where all our options will be located. Let's create the first one. For example, let's take the name of colors. On the left, we write our first color and on the right, the name of the color, white. Then we are creating new variable, second color, yellow. Next, create new variable, third color, blue. One more, color number four, orange. Now we can add the colors we will use for our walk. Let's add the primary color. text color and hover something like this and at the end we need to add one more component in the form of text. Name will be option and here choose best color. Compile all this and make groups. I choose four of our text with shift and click new group. Do the same with colors and our option. Second step, create components. We select the text and write button. Then I put it directly into auto layout and can adjust everything here. I choose the main or primary color that we added earlier. Let's do the rounding for our button. Let it be 9. And add it to the left side. Since the size of the text is going to change, I want the alignment to stay the same. Now we click on Create Component, tap left, and increase the size. Add one more variant and change the color to Hover that we added earlier. Now let's create the main list. I just duplicate the first option and move it to the right. I adjust the size to make it look neat and duplicate this bottom uh, three more times. We also need to add them to one outer layout. I select all of them and click Shift A. 
I click Create Component and rename the two items. First buttons, next list. Also in the menu on the right we can change the color. We choose the basic white color and round the corners by 9 pixels. Our next step is to change the names of our options. We double click on the first text and here we see a new icon that will help us a lot. If we click on it, we can see all the text that we have written earlier. In this way, we link the button to a certain object. I choose the first one and repeat the same with each option. Also, if you have done something wrong and you need to replace some text here, you just go into these options and the text change automatically. Next, we select the text, for example, drop down and do an auto layout. As I said in the last video, auto layout is very important for designers. Make sure you watch it. I check the left alignment and create component. We also add our main color and round the corners like we do with all our, our objects. I have two arrows. You can draw them uh, with a pencil or use an icon, it doesn't matter. I'll use the first one and add here. It's very important that you have the same bits on the list and this button. Check and modify. It is also very convenient to use the new Figma chip in this walk. And in this window, we set the minimum width. This way we have fixed its size. Next, we need to create a new variant. Here on the right side, you can change its name to avoid confusion. And we also change the arrow to the second variant. You can just flip it over. Just like we did with the colors, here we need to change the text of these buttons. Perfect. Now I'm going to copy the list and paste it here in the second option. Uh, we can resize our component here and align everything. Now these two objects are merged into one, so I click absolute position here. That way we can move it below and anchor it. The last step is create body type. Let's start with the first buttons. Uh, we go to body type mode uh, on the right. Click the plus sign on the right and point it to the second button. In the menu, we select while hovering. Moving on to the drop-down and we need the first element to change to the second element. I'm trying to explain everything so that you understand the whole process. So we click on the plus from the first object and pull the arrow to the second one. And the same with second button. Now we need to make the options change and show them here. Double click on first color and on the right side we choose interactions. Set variable, option and choose first name. Also add one more option, change two and repeat the same with the others.
Now to test everything, we need to create a new frame. Change the color to something darker, something like this. We can select our component here and transfer it to our frame. Then you can add effects for this button to make it look more voluminous. And look what we got. I hope I've explained it clearly. If you have any additional questions, you can ask them in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful for you, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video with our designers. See you tomorrow.